Hi! This is another update on the goily men cowards and their rust garbage cows belonging to She Shepherd following their cult leader, <laughs> Captain Kangaroo, Alma Beauregard Watson, better known as the Porus. They have been in the Faroe Islands. According to the good Captain Kangaroo, the Paulus, and the Boer God Watson, why there was no slaughter of whales when we were there. That's what he wrote, and I have a link to what he wrote in the description so you can see the lie. That's right, a lie. Allow me to explain. In his writing, he writes that the Faroe Island police gave an order to the people in the Faroe Islands while Sea Shepherd is in our waters, there will be no grind, no whale slaughtering going on. Do you understand that? So according to the good captain, while they were there, just by the mere fact that they were in the Faroe Island waters, there was no whales being slaughtered. So they saved the lives of whales, so says he. But here's the interesting part. There was no slaughter of whales because there were no whales in the fields. So is the good captain trying to say that the whales adhered to the federal police order, that the whales knew of the order and did not volunteer and swim into the fields? I mean, so which is it, huh? Here's what it is. The police never issued such an order. It is an out and out lie. That, you understand that, folks? The reason why there was no grind, no whale slaughter, because no whales came into the Faroe Islands. Had they went into the fjords there, the good people of the Faroe Islands would have once again engaged in the grind, the harvesting of these whales for food for the people of the Faroe Islands. Having nothing to do with the girly men cowards and this. <laughs> And they was bucket garbage scouts. And you want to talk about some more lies? Some months ago, the good captain, Captain Kangaroo, Admiral Beauregard Watson, the Paulus, he I think he was in the United States at a conference and he was being asked some questions. And one of the questions that was asked to him was, gee, good captain, how come you no longer go into Canada to stop them? with the seal uh, hunt that they do there, where they bash the heads of the seals with clubs to harvest the seals for the skins. I mean, you used to go there, Captain, and put a stop to it, but you haven't gone there. How come, Captain? You know what his answer was? Ah, the seal hunting in there. Uh, the seal hunt in Canada is decreasing each year, so we're basically winning. There's no need for us to go there, to which I have to say, Really? There's no need for you to go there? So because they're decreasing the number of seal hunts each year, meaning seals are still being slaughtered, that's okay. So instead of slaughtering a thousand, well, you're only slaughtering 900. That's all right. That's not the reason why he's not going there, and I'll give you two examples. Number one, because they're wanted in the Canada for what happened there a few years ago. But here's the interesting part. I'll prove to you why that answer has to be an out and out lie. So the good captain says, no reason to go back to Canada to interrupt with the seal hunt because the seals being hunted each year, the numbers are going down. So by the mere fact that the numbers are going down, it isn't necessary for us to go there. Really? Now let's transpose that to the Japanese whales in the Southern Ocean. Each year, the number of whales they harvest goes down. But yet, each year, the goalie men in their rust bucket garbage scouts following the cult leader, Captain Kangaroo, Admiral Beauregard Watson, the poorest, continues to harass the Japanese. Now, what is that? There's no consistency here. The Canadians want to arrest them, and they want to beat them up again. The Japanese are docile and make an easy target. So that's why they keep going back each year. Where both of them, the Canadians and the Japanese, the numbers are going down. But the good captain can be found harassing the Japanese. And then he goes on to say, Well, how can you call us terrorists when we've never injured anybody? 
So in other words, if a person leaves a bomb, a terrorist leaves a bomb in a railroad station, it explodes and nobody dies. He's not a terrorist then, right? Even though the intent was to hurt somebody. So that means the person's not a terrorist? You have not hurt anybody, not because of your professionalism, because of your incompetence. Let me tell you something. You have not hurt the Japanese mariners because of their professionalism. You throw live lit flares onto their decks, that's to cause harm. You throw bottles that smash open on the decks, spewing the decks with broken glass, slippery decks on the high seas while the ships are rocking at sea. That's the purpose of causing harm, but yet you did not cause harm to the Japanese, that did you? Even though you intended to, because of the professionalism of the Japanese and the incompetence of the girly men, trust fund babies, cultists, following the cult leader, Admiral Beauregard Watson, Captain Kangaroo, the poorest. That's why you haven't hurt anybody. But you're still an eco-terrorist. You're still a culinary imperialist. Now let's go back to the Faroe Islands. The good captain likes to say, why they're a bunch of butchers, they're a bunch of murderers. To once again I have to say, really? The last murder that took place in the Faroe Islands was in 1985. Huh, 26 years ago? That's, now they have a population of around 45,000. In the United States comparable to that, for every 45,000 people in the United States, we have a murder twice a year for every 45,000. The Faroese have one every 26 years, and they're bloodthirsty? I don't think so. In the 20th century, there was four murders in the Faroe Islands. That's once every 25 years. Their last execution was in 1706. Why are you a bunch of bloodthirsty barbarians, descendants from the Vikings in the Faroe Islands, according to those statistics? All right. I'm sorry to interrupt this video. <laughs> At the 2nd of September, 100 whales were gracious enough to swim into the fjords of the Faroe Islands, thus providing meat, food for the good people. That's right, 100 of them were slaughtered, were harvested, and that could be directly attributed to the Captain Kangaroo, and the Beauregard Watson, the poorest, the girly men, with their rust bucket garbage scows in tow behind them. Because the captain said, while we're in the Faroe Islands, no whales were slaughtered because of us. So, they left early because they were supposed to stay till September 8th. They left early with the hairy tail between their legs, left the Faroe Islands, and the whales swam, came in to the fields, filling the void left by the girly men, resulting in food for everybody and the Faroe Islands. Thank you, 100 whales. So those 100 whales were slaughtered as a direct result of action by the goily men of Sea Shepherd. Yeah! So you cultists out there who follow the cult leader, Admiral Beauregard Watson, Captain Kangaroo, the poorest, you can all be thanked for those 100 whales providing food to the good people of the Faroe Islands. God bless you all. All right, back to the video. <laughs> but let me tell you good people in the Faroe Islands, God bless you. You did not give these cowards the dramatic video they sought after and they tried to incite. So now they have to go with their hairy tails between their legs out of the Faroe Islands without that dramatic video. So now what is Animal Planet going to show on their new reality show, Whale Wars Faroe Islands? They're going to show old footage and old photographs and try to tell the people, this is what we prevented because by our mere presence, according to the police, no whale slaughter took place. Heh. Number one, that's a lie. Number two, I didn't know that the whales adhered to the orders from the Faroe police. <laughs> God bless you good folks in the Faroe Islands for depriving him that video they were looking for. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.